Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use an ATM. Okay, now the letters ATM stand for Automated Teller Machine. A teller is a person who works at a bank who gives you money or takes your money. Okay, the word automated means it's done by a machine. So actually, there's no person here. It's a machine that's giving us money or taking our money. Okay, so this thing here is called a keypad. So you're going to enter your pin on the keypad and when you're ready, you press enter. And if you make a mistake, then you press clear. Okay, and this thing here is called a bank card or a debit card. Okay, see here it says debit card. Now the first step is we need to insert the card into the ATM, all right? Then after it's inserted, then we need to type in our PIN number. Now PIN means personal identification number. Okay, so we enter our PIN and we press enter. Then we're going to see a screen that looks like this. Look at all these options here. So here we have cash withdrawal. Withdrawal means you're taking money out of the bank. And here we have deposit. Deposit means you're putting money into your bank account. And here it says set my favorite withdrawal. Okay, so let's say you go to the bank every week and you take out the same amount. You go every Friday and you take out $100. Okay, so then you can just set your favorite withdrawal and then it saves you a little bit of time. So every Friday when you go to the bank, you just press this button and it'll give you your $100. Okay, so over here we have account activity, balances, and updates. So let's say you want to know how much money you have in your bank account. Then you would click on here and it'll give you your balance. So here's the balance of our checking account, okay, and here it says how much is available for withdrawal. Okay, so it says please make a selection here. We can print the balance, or we can return the card and you can leave, or you can make another transaction. So let's say we want to make another transaction. So we press here, and then let's say we want to withdraw some money, okay, so we push cash withdrawal and then it's going to ask us which account do we want to withdraw from checking savings or credit card okay we probably want to withdraw money from our checking account so we're going to press from checking and then we're going to see this screen so how much money do we want to withdraw well here are some quick options for us but let's say we want to withdraw $400. Okay, so then we enter 400 here and press enter. Okay, then it's going to say your transaction is complete. Would you like to perform another transaction? And you can choose yes or no. Let's say we're finished. So we press no. Then it's going to say, would you like a receipt? Then you can choose yes or no. And then it's going to say, thank you please remove your cash and then you take your cash and you take your card don't forget your card sometimes people forget their card in the machine so you take your cash you take your card and then you leave okay so let's say we want to deposit some money okay then we press deposit and then it's going to ask which account we want to deposit the money into checking savings or credit card let's say we want to deposit our money into savings, okay? So we press savings, and then it's going to say, insert all checks and cash into an envelope. Okay, so this is called an envelope. So we put our money into the envelope, and then when we're ready to deposit the envelope, we press okay. So then we press okay, and then we put our money into the ATM. Okay, actually in Canada, the new ATMs don't use envelopes. So you can just put your cash or your checks straight into the ATM. It's much easier. Okay, then it's gonna say, your deposit is complete. Please make a selection. 
So we can withdraw some cash now, or we can do another transaction, or we can say no more transactions. So let's say no more transactions, we're finished. Okay, then it's going to say, thank you, please remove your card. Then you take your card and you leave, you're done. Hey, if you want more English lessons like this, or you want to get some culture tips, or you want to ask me any questions, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.